right, how's it going everybody? Spike Daddy here. I'm going to do a quick little uh, tutorial on how to install the XML files in that for 7 days to die. So first things first, make sure you download the 7 days to die, the most recent one. Um, I'll have it linked in the description below. So what we're going to do first is let's go ahead and let's extract them. I use 7-zip to extract them, so I'm going to extract it here. And that should put one right here. It'll be 7 days to die XML. We'll open that up and we're going to minimize that for now. We're going to go into right click on your file explorer or go into your file explorer and you want to locate the seven days to die file location in Steam. Now normally that would be in your C drive, you go into program files 86, you would go down to Steam, you would go into Steam apps, go into common, and then your seven days to die folder would be right here. However, for me, it's not. I have it stored at a different hard drive. So I'm going to go ahead and go in here, Steam Library, Apps, Common. So this would be the same essential area that you need to be in. You go into 7 Days to Die, go into Data, Config, and here's your XML files. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to Control A. It'll select all of them. You're going to want to right click, copy, click on your desktop, right click on your desktop, Go to folder, new folder, we'll do call these old, we'll do old seven days to die XMLs. Open it up, paste all of those in there. Once that's done, you can close that out. With this window open, so let's move this over. We're gonna go back to the seven days to die XML folder that you unzipped earlier. You're going to select all. Control C for copy, or you can just right click and copy them. And then you're going to go in here and right click with the destination. It'll say the destination has 37 files with the same names. What you want to do is replace the files in the destination. Once you're done, we'll go ahead and we'll close all this out. Let's go ahead and open up 7 Days to Die. Once 7 Days to Die opens up, you can tell if you did it correctly once you go into a game. So since you did it to your directory locally, it'll affect your single players. It shouldn't affect uh, any servers that you connect to because the servers should have their own XML files that are in there. Oh, I got double instance going on right now. I'm going to turn off the other game capture. Do -do -do. Oh, give me my mouse back. There we go. We'll go ahead and turn off the uh, game capture. Go back into Seven Days to Die. So if we go in and we do, say we do a new game, let's just do a single player. Sure, we'll call that the single player. We'll start it up. <coughs> Once you get into game here, you should see the UI is different. So you see down over here, you got your temperature now, you got your food, you got your water. Toolbar looks a little bit different, but it's essentially the same thing. You've got the top left of your toolbar is your level. The bottom left is the amount of deaths that you've had. Let's see if we can get to it. There we go. The top right is the amount of zombie kills. The bottom right is the amount of player kills. And you'll notice there's a small little gray bar that goes above the toolbar. That's your experience. Also, I really don't know if I can show it here. Okay, so I can kind of show it here with just this open. You'll notice up here by your compass, you'll have the day, the time. You'll have what the temperature is outside. And then you'll have your elevation from sea level. Sea level, of course, being at zero meters or zero M. This right here, we are one block above it. So if we were to actually go this way, you can see whenever we go up, we're going up in elevation. And that kind of just gives a, uh, a rough breakdown of that. Uh, I'll go over some of the other things in that, that the XML files also has as well. So you'll notice that 
first things first, stack sizes are increased. Uh, stone, clay, wood, um, all of those normally default to 6,000 for a stack. Um, I've got them increased to uh, 12,000. Uh, raw iron, the red raw iron, uh, normally would stack to only 1,200. It now stacks up to 5,000. I don't know why I picked 5,000 instead of 6,000. I should have just done 6,000. It made it a lot easier. Um, let's see here. What else? Gunpowder also stacks to 12,000. Uh, let's see here. I believe cobblestone, cement, and concrete mix now stack up to 6,000 instead of their standard 1,000. <coughs> uh, most things that stack to 250 now stack to 500. So like feathers and whatnot. I swear to God, they know for a fact that I'm fucking recording. <laughs> I swear to God. Anyways, I'm not going to cut that out either, because why not? It's kind of funny. <laughs> so, that's the stacking aspect of it. Plus, of course, uh, water. Uh, here, let's do this. Let's uh, just go into uh, creative menu. So now if we go to, like, uh, like first aid kits... First aid, first aid bandage, first aid kits normally only stack to five. They now stack to ten. Uh, let's see here. Clay stacks to twelve thousand. Uh, let's see here. What else? Oh yeah, shotgun slugs now stack to two hundred fifty instead of one hundred twenty-eight. Why that was at one hundred twenty-eight instead of two fifty? Vanilla wise, I do not know. Uh, shotgun shells stack to five hundred. I'm pretty sure everything else stacks to five hundred, and I think that's default actually. I know, actually, no, shotgun shells would only stack to 250, but everything else would stack to 500, so I left those alone. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Other cool things about the uh, XML file is the ability to craft your own gun parts. So, for example, let's do this real quick here. Let's grab a workbench. So we're going to grab some forged steel, because I know... Grab some mechanical parts. Uh, we need oil. Oil stacks to 100 now instead of 50, which is awesome in my opinion. I just needed to change the 50 on those. The odd stack amounts for everything just doesn't make any sense. It's like, if okay, so if you're talking about a volume aspect, that's the reason why the stack sizes were made up. 6,000 stone is going to be a lot larger than 50 quarts of oil. Sorry, but that's just fact. So that's why I, the stack sizes don't make any sense to me in this game, honestly. <coughs> it's not like Minecraft where everything is at 64 because of the essential bit uh, that it's built on. Uh, let's see here. So we're going to do that. Uh, let's do wood as well. Yeah, wood stacks to 12,000. Okay. So if we take this, we set down a workbench. Oh. So if we go to type in pistol, you see you can't make it yet because you need to know the uh, recipe. So let's go to let's make pistol. Oh, we have some springs too. So now we'll go ahead and we'll read the pistol book. We'll go in here. Weapons and ammo, I'm pretty sure, is where it should be underneath. Or is it going to be underneath just everything? Or is it not going to show up in here? See, it may not actually show up in here. Oh, no, it's underneath resources. Okay. So you can make a pistol barrel. You can make a pistol grip, pistol parts, pistol receiver. It's going to take a long time for that to happen. But when it does, it's going to take into effect your skills, your toolsmithing, your gunsmithing. So gunsmithing is what it's going to be at. Crafting quality is only going to be at 50. Actually, no, it's going to be at 25. So these are only going to come out at about 25. So I'll be right back once it's all done crafting up to uh, show you the kind of the final product. All right, folks, we are back. Uh, just about done finishing up these guys right here, but I did notice that uh, I'm also show you this as well. You can also craft hunting rifles, shotguns, short and long. Um, I also brought in some other things because we're going to do this as well. So now <coughs> the iron helmet. And the scrap helmet both require a flashlight now and a single piece of duct tape now. And what that essentially does is that creates... Well, I shouldn't say creates. I just... I've, I edited the scrap helmet and I edited the iron helmet 
to where it gives the miner's helmet effect. Okay, so where you can get the light, the toggleable light for the miner's helmet. But it just it didn't feel like leaving the recipe alone, you know, because oh hey, I'm gonna make this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make this uh, the scrap helmet now, and <clears throat> I'm gonna make the scrap helmet with 100 iron and some leather. And now all of a sudden it has a light source. So I added the flashlight and the duct tape on it. Yes, that does mean that you do have to have a flashlight and a piece of duct tape now to craft it. You can't craft it without the light. I might throw an XML file in there to maybe change it up. Maybe copy the scrap helmet uh, from the old XML recipe list. Uh, and then edit it to where <clears throat> one doesn't have the light and one of them that does have the light. I'll probably do that maybe in the next XML update that I do. Um, but yeah, it just, it, it here, we'll just do the scrap helmet because it's only seven seconds. I don't have any kind of crafting. It just, this is just a fresh game that I went into. <clears throat> so, but of course now you can actually assemble or start putting one together, I should say, so we don't have the receiver done yet. So you see how it starts off at 25 quality. That's about it. Uh, I did bring in some other workbenches because I want to see how long it takes for these guys right here to craft. And it does take quite a bit for these guys to craft. It took about five minutes for the hunting rifle barrel. Um, <coughs> and of course that's with zero in uh, Quick Crafter. So, zero percent. As soon as you get one point into it with the XML files, uh, Quick Crafting, I do have it turned up to when, by the time you hit level 60, it's 90% off of the crafting time for everything. Um, I guess I might as well go over a couple other things too. Uh, let's see here. Uh, bad mechanic harvest counts, as you see, 900% compared to, I think, I don't know what vanilla settings essentially are, but I know they're not that high. Same thing with Miner 69er. This right here actually is what helps out with the harvest rate gathering as well. So not only did I edit the blocks to where the blocks give you more resources per hit, basically, but also I increased the uh, Miner 69er and the bad mechanic to give more of a harvest count per level that you put into it. So so hopefully this right here is uh, enough information for you guys. If you have any questions, please uh, leave some comments below. Uh, like I said, I'll have the uh, 7 Days to Die XML in the uh, for download in the description below as well. And hopefully you guys have a wonderful time. See ya.